on YouTube. This is the very latest news from Fabulous 103 and the Fabulous Patio Media Group. It would be great if you liked and subscribed to us. Their Majesties the King and Queen of Thailand, accompanied by royal family members, marked the fifth anniversary of the King's coronation at the Grand Palace in the capital on Saturday. Accompanied by other members of the royal family, their royal majesties were traditionally greeted before paying respect to the memory of past kings and later offering food to monks in the temple. Thai customs will find illegal e-cigarette importers double the street value of their wares, and that is perfectly legal under laws regarding contraband. Aimed to reduce supplies which often reach underage smokers, the same fines are or will be applied as and when to retailers in shops and local markets. Myanmar's rebel fighters are setting up new defences very close to the Thai border, causing concern here added to a dozen others previously held by Burmese government troops that they overran, and together you have a serious military presence for sure. Refugee camps on this side of the border remain in place, but currently almost empty, as most have returned since the last big battles. They, though, remain open, as authorities fully expect further escalation in fighting. A Lao woman believed to have been part of the gang, which included several errant civil servants, and was reported as extorting money from Chinese here, was arrested at the weekend. A list of 11 people, and the report that five have already been caught, has been sent to all police locations in the capital, where they targeted Chinese business operators, threatening them with deportation. And in at least one case had kidnapped five Chinese, forcing them to hand over cash or cryptocurrency. A local Thai lady rued the day that she took a taxi to Don Muang Airport in the capital and then sat back for the ride, glued to her phone, only to find that the driver had taken her to the main airport instead. She isn't happy, despite him waving the fare and whizzing her off to the proper destination as she missed her flight. A delay of five hours saw her complain, but as the taxi was actually a hire car via a hail app, she finds she has no comeback on the unlicensed driver. Using drugs here is daft, bringing them in is stupid, but hiding your stash of illegal white powder inside your passport pages and then handing it over to a customs officer on arrival here really has to take the biscuit. No big prize though for 29-year-old British man Jamie Swain, who did just that on Phuket. Now duly housed at the pleasure of local authorities, Swain is said to have gone into a fit when he realised what he'd done leading police to carry out drug tests that revealed that he was already under the influence of whatever. Either way, Swain faces a rough ride and probably jail too. Meanwhile at home, and in Rayong province, a prolific jewel thief was finally nabbed, having swiped diamonds from dealers on numerous occasions. His trick was to meet traders, examine their wares, and then when they weren't looking, switch them for duds. Claiming that he sold all and spent the money, we'll see him spend time behind bars for sure. And Patia police were holding a ranting Thai man at the weekend after he pulled out a gun and aimed it at his erstwhile girlfriend on the beachfront. Surrounded by other groups of happy visitors, the 27-year-old got angry for some reason, aimed the gun at her and pulled the trigger. Lucky for her, the gun failed to fire and he fled. A lack of water on Kolan is a major issue for City Hall, so we're told as plans are now afoot to A, make more available for right now, and B, fix the issues of water storage for the coming years. This is at least one large mall suffered from air conditioning failure in the heat at the weekend, and numerous businesses and homes reported no or slow water supplies. With water pressure lowered to try and reduce demand, the end result is, of course, that it can't reach much above two floors in many areas, leaving those living on the above floors dry. And with the Met Office predicting thunderstorms at some time today, otherwise a humid day with patchy clouds, highs of around 34 dropping down to 29, but still with the real feel of a sticky 41. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.